Hello everyone and welcome to a video tutorial brought to you by Wiltshire. Today we'll be having a look at how to change your solid state drive in the Dell Mini Inspiron 910. Now the Dell Mini Inspiron 910 is a special kind of netbook because a certain amount of solid state drives do not fit the Dell Mini Inspiron 910. Now I found a solid state drive that actually does fit the Dell Mini Inspiron 910. It is the Super Talent 16 gigabyte half PCI solid state drive and I've got that at canadacomputers.com and the link will be in the description if any of you are looking for the part that I will be demonstrating in this video. Anyway guys let's get on to the process of removing the back panel and changing the hard drive. Alright so the first thing we want to do before taking off the back panel here we want to remove the battery because we don't want to get any shocks from the computer in case there's any charges left in the computer while using the screwdriver so what we're going to do is we're going to unlock the locks for the battery and we're just going to take it out just like that. Make sure the locks come out. And it should come out pretty easily, but it's giving me a little bit of a hard time here. But there we go. As you can see, the battery is now out, and now we can proceed to open the back panel here. Now there is two screws. There's one here and one here, and you need a star head screwdriver, and I happen to have one over here, so I'm going to get it out of its case. And Okay, now this is the screwdriver that I will be using for opening up the back panel. So what you want to do is you want to unscrew it and keep the screws in a separate pile from each other because we will be having more than two piles of screws. And all you need to do is just lift your fingernail up in the divot here and pull up. It sounds rather aggressive but it will not break, I promise you that. And so the back panel is now off, and as you can see, we have our stick of RAM here, our Wi-Fi card, and our hard drive. Now, we want to change this hard drive, and how we're going to do that is we're going to take these screws here, these two screws, and we're going to unscrew them. And make sure these screws are in a separate pile of the ones that are the back panel, because they're a little bit smaller screws than the back panel screws. All you want to do is you just want to press down and get the other screw. Okay, now the the drive will pop up like so. It's just easily to slide out the drive. And now we're going to go get our other drive here. And this is the Super Talent drive that I was talking about earlier. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the solid state drive and just ever so slightly, very carefully, put it into the prongs. Make sure you have the prongs matched up with the ones here ever so slightly just push it in and push it down and make sure it's pushed in all the way make sure you get the the screw holes lined up with the holes on the solid state drive next thing you want to do is you just want to keep one finger on it and put these screws back in the holes that you removed before make sure not to let go during this you can do one screw at a time but if you let go they will go everywhere because the spring action to get rid of the or get or take the drive out excuse me will throw them around okay now that they're screwed in we're ready to go and that's how you change you guys your hard drive on the Dell Mini Inspiron 910 and I hope this was helpful but uh, I'm just going to show you guys how to put the back panel on and I'll say goodbye so after that we just want to put the panel back on and just press all around the four corners make sure it snaps into place and then put these screws in and screw them in and the last thing we want to do is we want to insert the battery into the netbook and that's it guys so that's how you change your hard drive on the Dell Mini Inspiron 9 and I hope this was informational, helpful and educational anyway guys I'll see you guys in the next video tutorial